there's bass in here. First cast and I already moved one. That's kind of good. That was huge. Oh, it's a big gar pike. It's a giant gar pike. <laughs> So I figured I would come check out a new lake. All the ponds I used to fish just weren't producing anything of size or anything at all for that matter. So I figured I would give this a whirl. It was a little bit shady coming in just because it is a gated community. So it's a little bit nerved, but seems to be pulling out some good bass. So I'm gonna keep working it, see if I can find that monster. They seem to be pretty evenly spread out, so I think it's just gonna be kind of covering water until I find that piggy, because that's what I'm really looking for. I've caught a bunch of these smallers, and that's just not, not what I came down here for. I keep grinding it out on this lake. It looks pretty fishy, it's pretty big. So I think she's got good potential, just gotta keep, uh, keep working her, and uh, we should be able to pull something nice out. That rogue biggie, rogue big monster. Oh, that's a solid. That's a solid. That's a solid. Ouch. Boom. Buddy, finally found the lake. Oh, that outflow is gonna hold a monster. Teeny tiny, teeny tiny Tim here. Oh, Mondo! I gotta run back to my bike now and then we'll hop to the next spot and we'll keep hounding them. Flying through batteries right now, guys, and it's not even because I'm catching a lot of fish. So, uh,. Oh wow, that is not even a bass. That is literally a cichlid. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Not really what I'm going for, but I guess we'll take it. i would be back for like 10, 10, 30-ish. So I don't want to stay out too late. We're flying out today back to Toronto. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of good that I got into these fish around the time that I did. So 